Hello, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you how to add CoPI symbols uh, based on the formula results in Power BI. Somebody asked uh, in the Power BI community how to do this, um, the, how to add an up arrow or a down arrow based on um, a formula, the results of a formula. And I was reminded of it today, so I thought I will show everybody, not only those that read in here. So, to add those symbols, uh, let me show you first. This is how it would look like. So this is our growth uh, dashboard. And uh, here we have uh, the growth of a website uh, day over day, week over week, month over month, and year over year. And what we're going to do in the tutorial is to add this arrow here. And you can have the number with the arrow or only the arrow. I will show you how to do both. But to do that, you need, um, like it says here, you can use Cambria Math. And that is uh, special symbols that you can find, for example, in Word. So if we go to Word and open the symbol, you there we have and then you have to select Cambria math here and all the symbols that you see here can be represented in Power BI so what you do is you click on it click insert and then you can have the down arrow insert and then it will they will appear in um, Word and once you have them in Word you can have them in uh, Power BI too let's do an example here with our growth uh, dashboard on how to build that um, what we're going to do is first get, let's do it on the month. So we have a month of a month uh, measure. And we want to have an arrow here that says up or down, depending on what this um, KPI is saying. So what we'll do is create a new measure. We can call it KPI uh, growth month month i think that's enough and now let's build the arrow so what we're going to say is if our month of month measure is bigger than zero then we're going to have the up arrow so let's get that arrow that's one. Wait. So, comma because this is text up arrow. Otherwise, we won't have the done arrow. So, we copy that. So, and click enter. So, let's see how that looks like. We have to select. There, they, um, this is a card I think called the visual, the card visual. And there you see, you have the arrow. So we could have the down arrow instead of the um, number. If you want to have the number, then we will have to use the tricks that I show you with the natural language uh, video. I will po post a link. Uh, but what we will do is we're going to click on it again. And now we're going to say, give me the value first so like that and then we're going to concatenate that with the next formula so you see what happens now it gives me the number which is perfect but it's not formatted it doesn't look that good right what we want to do is we want to round it up so we remove all these decimals so we're going to round to two decimals so and we want to multiply it by 100 because we want percentage and we want to have the percentage symbol also so what we're going to do is concatenate that percentage you have to have because it's text so 
And we want a little bit of space, right? It doesn't, otherwise it's hard to read. So here we have it. Now we have the value together with the uh, up or down arrow, depending on what the value of the formula is, what the result of the formula is. So if you want to, you can actually do that on lists too. Here is an example. So you can do exactly the same thing in formula that measures what you want them to measure and then you put it on a list and then it will work. In this case, I have removed the down arrow because it will be very difficult to read. Then everything is a small arrow up and down. It would be better with colors, but it's not possible to do for now. So I just have everything that is going up. And when it's blank, then it means that it's going down. You can do it the other way around also. So I really hope you enjoy today's video and you find it useful. If you do, please let me know by liking it or subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment box. Uh, I publish around the video week. So have a nice evening. Bye.